Hey everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today we are going to uh, teach you how to save image uh, on web API or you can say on RASTful web API in ASP.NET Core. So first of all, just I'm going to show you, uh, here we have a model in student, uh, that's my name and dot API and just I want to save image. So here we have a, uh, that is the model, that is image upload model. And here we have two properties in the class. That is the first one is the title and the second one is the iPhone file image. Just I want to save this image uh, in the um, library. Okay, so that is the model and you know that image upload, it's a, uh, that is the type of the DTO you can say. And just I want to know uh, how to save the image in ESP.NET Core. Okay, so if we got iPhone file from here, then just I want to use it here. Okay, so the next one is to add, uh, that's the part in the controller section. So here we have a image controller right there. So here we have a image controller. And in the image controller, just here we have a upload image from form. And just I'm going to use I image upload model that is the model okay so i image upload model here we have a iphone file because you can see that here we have a iphone file image and i want to just uh, uh, get the images from the uh, web application okay by using the http client just post this image on your image upload model so here we have image of um, image or uh, model dot image then save this image successfully otherwise give, give it to the bad request Okay, so that's the scenario and just I want to send the image uh, by using the uh, MVC application. So here we have a MVC application like that, the same thing. So here we have that's the UI application. So just close this application first. And the next one is the UI application. And here we have a image upload view model. That's the same parameter uh, title and the image that is that part of the DTO. And I want to use uh, image controller like that. And here I'm using to ISTP client factory. And uh, by using the ISTP client factory, initialize that ISTP client in the program.cs file looking like that. So here we have a builder.services.add HTTP client that is the named client. The named client is client. And here we have a option options.base address that is the HTTPS localhost 7048 that is the api url you can see in the lawn settings dot api and here we have you can see that here, here we have a profile uh, that is https localhost 7048 that is the um, api thing so just close this api project 7048 it's working now just go for the image controller and uh, of your web application and here we have a image controller of your web application where, where I use ISTP client factory and initialize that ISTP client factory like that. And here we have a HTTP get method of the image upload and, and this is your view section uh, images and here we have a upload image section where we have a title and the image. Just when we click on the submit button that API uh, sorry MVC application will post to this images as well as the title to the post method. So just go for the post method and you, here you can see that upload image with the image upload view model model. Now uh, if model state is valid then API client initiate with the create client method that is the client and API client dot base address API slash images that is the uh, that is the endpoint of your API system. So here we have the controller images controller and API slash images and the post section method. So API slash images. And now after that, we will create a media part, a multi-part form data. Because multi-part form data content is used here, because just I want to send images right now. So if you are using images, then you can use multi-part form data content. Because uh, multi-part form data content is sending information in the form of the plain text, as well as the binary information in the form of streaming, that is the byte or you can say that images. So here we have a using multi-part form data content, multi-part multi -part content equals to that is the newly object uh, empty constructor. And here we have a multi-part that is the same instance name dot add that is the media type 
name dot text dot plain text and model dot title just I want to add because that information is the textual information so send the media type names dot text dot plain text and the information is the title now the next one is the image content so here we have image content new stream content and stream content is the model dot image dot open read stream and I just I want to send the image content in the header so image content dot header dot content type is media type header value dot parse media type names dot image dot jpg gpack okay now the next one is multi multi, multi part content dot add image content and that's the same name of your path where your uh, where your api will call so here we have the image controller of your api system and you can see and here we have image controller like that that is the name that is the image so in the controller section here we have the same name model dot image dot file name just i want to send it in the image name of your image content okay now after that send the request in the form of app, um, application api client dot post async with the api url that is there api url and the next one is the multi-part content inside the multi-part content here we have single text plain text content that is the model dot title and the next one content is the image content okay so here we have two values in the multi-part form data content so just start this api and you will see that how to send image uh, and uh, how to upload image in asp.net core web api so uh, from the web application so uh, here we have a just simple thing to add it here just pass the image uh, from the mvc application to web api in asp.net core by using the multi-platform data content so let's check and you can see the next video tutorial i will show you how to save image uh, in web api from passing from the web application wait for some times i will check it again so uh, here we have just uh, create the breakpoint on your api system images control and here we have images control like that images control and here just i am going to create a create bug mode create a breakpoint right there okay so here we have the uh, mvc application and just i'm going to use api system that is api okay so both are the running state and uh, just i'm go uh, calling to images controller and inside it ui part and here we have a image upload uh, sorry image control and inside the image control uh, here we have two things that is upload image post method so just image control and upload image so just i want to send the title that is uh hello and just i want to send that jpeg images from here so line length dot jpeg and just i want to upload it here and you will see that here we have a created debug point right now and you will see that images will be sent on api system that is a from form and you can see in the model that is the same name and that is the same value will just pass it from the mvc application and you can see wait for some times it will render on your snippet there is and here we have the images that is the images and the title is hello and the images is the type of file name lion jpeg.jpg and this these are so thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to asp.net core